Welcome. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm actually not sure what the title of this video is gonna be called, but my overall message is how to wear, how to start wearing your spring items without looking completely spring, but also how to incorporate some of your winter items in it. That way you don't have to like pack up everything. It's just a really good way to reuse your items. Um, I got a new filming chair. What do we think? Uh, well, you can't see it because my shirt is so big today. It's comfy. I'm just really paranoid that my jeans are going to transfer color. So I'm like sitting on my feet. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the video. Um, I'm just going to scoot over so I can do a split screen here uh, so you can see what I'm talking about. I wanted to start with this blue striped dress because I think this is such a great spring item and I think most of us have some sort of variation of this dress in our closets. Obviously not in New York and in a lot of places, but in some places we can get away, away with wearing dresses with like an over the knee boot. Uh, don't put away those over the knee boots yet, even though they are like a very winter item you can incorporate them into spring and I think this is kind of a good way to mix that super girly feminine vibe with something a little bit more edgy add a headband if you want to if you want to make it a little bit more feminine and just some sort of bag so the next outfit is a little bit more of I would say like a date night or going out this dress could really go either way so just whatever wherever you're going with this dress I just added some super sheer black tights you could also do opaque tights it's really just your preference I love sheer tights and then I added an open toe heel you could obviously do a booty if you're wanting to make it more casual you could do like a lace-up flat boot to make it again that super feminine edgy kind of meet in the middle type vibe I added a leather jacket you could do a coat um, but if you are like going out I think this is the perfect look just any type of you know dark darker floral dress tights boots and a leather jacket so then my next outfit is I wanted to start with a spring top because I feel like I have so many spring tops um, and I'm like, what do I wear these with right now? I can't really wear them with white jeans because I feel too spring. So I do think that you can wear these tops with your black jeans, whether they're straight leg or skinny jeans. Come on. She's like, no one can see you because, Ugh, okay, I'm sorry guys. Um, yeah, but I love blue and black. I think blue is such a pretty spring color that you can still wear with your black jeans. That way you don't feel overly spring. Um, and then I added a hair bow, like a tulle material hair bow, just to add a little bit more um, spring vibes to be a little bit more feminine. But um, I actually love this look. I was like putting this look on the rolling rack and I was like, is this gonna look good? I just wasn't sure about it, but it actually ended up being my favorite look. So the next look, I wanted to incorporate a pair of wider leg jeans because I have really not been wearing wide leg jeans. Obviously in winter, the wind just goes right up them. <laughs> no matter what shoe you're wearing, it's not comfortable. But I um, do think it's almost time. I think once it hits 50 degrees, you're safe with the wide leg. So I pulled out the wide leg. I added actually a pretty spring sweater. Um, I think the lace really makes it springtime and it just kind of gives you like happy, you know, vibes. I do think certain materials like lace even incorporated into a sweater could be um, giving you like those hints of spring into your outfit. You could also wear the sweater with black jeans. I feel like the sweater itself is also a spring item. So I think either of these items you would be good. So the next item is just a basic crop sweater. You're seeing these pretty much everywhere. And I just, I love them for layering purposes. So I grabbed this one to incorporate with a white button down. This one right here actually just didn't change after I was filming. I did this, I did some skinny jeans, and then I did some brown boots. You could do black boots, but I just thought brown made it a little bit more springtime, adding some lighter colors, trying to stay away from black. And I think the, um, the warm tone of the olive color in the sweater really uh, looks good with the brown. But this is one of my favorite outfit combinations right now. I think it is such a springtime look, but you're still layering. And obviously you could put a coat on over any of these outfits and uh, you're good to go. Obviously, obviously they would need a coat, <laughs> especially in New York right now. And I'm sure in so many other places, they just wouldn't work right now. Your breath is literally so bad. What? Like you had, what happened? It smells like, it smells like coins, like quarters. So I really, really enjoyed making this video. I love doing any type of transition into different seasons because I think it's so important. Like we get so tired of looking at 
our current season's clothes. Like how tired are you of looking at like your black skinny jeans, the same sweaters over and over. So I think really like reinventing them and adding small bits of spring here and there can make you just love your wardrobe all over again. Pulling out your spring tops and incorporating them with your darker jeans and your heavier boots, um, I think can really just make such a huge difference. And I. I did notice that there is a blue color pattern going on behind me. So I'm very into blue this season. I don't know if you've noticed. Um, I think it's a very feminine color, but it's not overly girly. I think that's why I'm so drawn to it. And that's the same thing with like lavender and yellow, but. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I feel like it went super quick. I just zoomed through this, so I hope it wasn't too short. I love short, quick content, um, content that's like easily digestible and like move on to the next thing, but I hope you guys loved it and I will see you next time. Bye.